Welcome to part three of three of the Accounting 332 introductory videos. In this video, we're going to cover the basic logistics of the course. You may want to have a copy of the syllabus handy as we walk through this video. Remember, there's a quiz at the end of the syllabus on these videos, so hang in there. Let's start with the requirements. There are six modules in this course, and each module aligns with one week. Now, a traditional semester is about 15 weeks, so that means that this course works at triple speed. So be prepared to work hard and have very few let-ups. So think of each module as starting on Tuesday and ending on Monday. So each module contains a reading assignment, a Learn Smart assignment, a video assignment, a homework assignment, and an exam. Therefore, you're going to have six cycles of each of these. The suggested order is something we've been through before. So read and learn smart, then watch the videos, prep the homework, take the exam. Learn smarts are due on Wednesday of each week at 1130 p.m. Pacific. In fact, just about everything is due at 1130 and all times are Pacific. Homework solutions are going to be made available to you immediately after the due date. The exams, the exams will always be due on Monday at 11.30 p.m., except for the last one. You are always encouraged to complete your tasks in advance. However, I wouldn't recommend taking the exam until you've seen your homework results and identified any areas for improvement. As mentioned previously, all times are Pacific. So if you reside in a different time zone, be sure and adjust accordingly. Also, you're going to see that the system deadlines will always offer a short grace period. For example, 1135 or even 1140. That's to provide for a small amount of clock error. In your minds, continue to think of 1130 as the deadline. That way, if you need five minutes to get your internet connection back in service, you'll have it. The course also has a tax return memo that is due toward the end of the semester. Check Blackboard for the exact due date. The memo is an individual assignment. You are not to discuss your research or any other part of the assignment with your classmates. Direct any questions you have to me. The tax memo is submitted using Turnitin, which was discussed in the prior video. There are a few other minor assignments. These are due on various dates throughout the modules as shown in Blackboard. I reserve the right to add a few more of these. Anything new will be posted as an announcement and sent out as an email as well. The exams are scheduled inside of a time block of 36 hours. Each exam, each exam is timed, and times will be posted with each exam in Blackboard so you know. There are six exams, one at the end of each module. Each exam is cumulative on the materials covered up through that date. Thus, exam one covers only module one, but exam two covers both module one and module two. Each exam builds cumulatively on the previous exam. Thus, the module six exam is in fact cumulative for the entire course. I also require a CBK or cumulative body of knowledge exam. This is a 25 question multiple choice exam on the basic tenets of the course. However, grading for the CBK is not like the other exams. You must achieve a score of at least 68 to get any points on the CBK. For example, a CBK score of 80 gets you 80, but a CBK score of 64 gets you a zero. Again, the CBK is by design intended to cover the most basic concepts at the very highest 30,000 foot level. Exams, including the CBK, because we're in an online class, are open book, open notes, but you are required to work independently. As discussed in the previous video, exams will differ between students. Also, as discussed in the previous video, homework will be completed using the Connect system. Since all of the homework, assignments, exams are posted well ahead of time, 
And the window of time by which to complete those assignments is generally more than adequate. There are no provisions for missed deadlines. However, the system will continue to accept late assignments, and I encourage the completion of all assignments, whether late or not. You will be subjected to a severe points penalty for submitting late work. Check the syllabus for penalty details. If you look in the Syllabus and Schedule tab in Blackboard, you will find a block schedule for the entire semester. I have made every attempt to include everything you need to read, watch, do, and submit on this schedule. I recommend printing the schedule off at the very beginning and checking it frequently to ensure, to ensure you have completed all your assigned work. Students often ask me, what should I do to get an A in this class? And I hate to admit, it's a really difficult question to answer. Every student learns a little bit differently and can favor one learning style over another. So there's no pat answer that applies to everyone. But I am an accountant by trade, and so I always go with an analytical analysis, and that includes the following list. Get the easy points. Always do the learn smart and homework and always complete it on time. In fact, complete everything on time. The course is challenging and six weeks is not a lot of time, but six weeks is also not a lot of time to devote to a single mission. Rome may not have been built in a day, but six weeks is plenty of time to finish all the work in this course. Don't miss the easy points. Use the homework as a warm-up quiz. Many students will see the homework deadline looming and simply work to get those few points. Instead of rushing to get the green check mark, and for those of you new to connect, you'll see what I mean soon enough, open up your text, take notes on the problem, show your work on an organized scratch paper so you have a trail as to how you worked out the problem. Better yet, Print the homework and work it out and enter the answers into Connect, but keep your notes. Try to work the homework problems on your own. If that doesn't work, crack open the book and use it as a reference and try again. Avoid the temptation to just keep plugging numbers into the box and praying for that green check. Getting the right answer in the homework but not understanding the solution is not getting you any closer to learning the material. You'll have to hope that your random number generator is as lucky on the quiz and exams. You may use the discussion group to help each other with the homework, but avoid the temptation to just post the answer. If you think that somehow getting the points on the homework is more important than actually trying to complete the homework on your own, then you better hope you're really smart when exam time rolls around. Time management. Enough said. Keep up with your work. See the last item. Want to learn. Okay, I know that sounds a little silly, doesn't it? I think back to my K-12 through education, and you realize that for big parts of it, you're pretty much along for the ride. Treating your education like some road exercise that you have to do should be in your rearview mirror. You don't have to get a college degree, and you don't have to choose accounting as your major, but you did, and now you are taking courses that are directly associated with that goal. I'm not going to ask you to read and interpret Shakespeare. As interesting as that might be, those fundamentals are now out of the way. I can tell you after a career in the business world, I wished I had paid more attention to all of my business courses, even those outside of accounting. Once you get past your entry-level position and on the management, they're all going to play a role. Otherwise, we wouldn't make you take them as part of the program. I swear we wouldn't. That is the last of our intro to the course videos. If you have any additional questions, I'm hosting a discussion board during Module 1. Be sure and make a note of anything you want to ask, and you'll get a chance. Even if you have no questions, you may want to check the discussion board to see if anyone thought of something you didn't. Thanks for watching. Now, go and tackle the syllabus quiz and the other intro assignments and get started on Module 1. Yikes. 
Welcome to Accounting 332. Here we go.